The Taylor series for f of x equals cosine two x centered at zero is in this form here. We want to find the first few coefficients, c sub zero through c sub four, and then find the exact error in approximating cosine zero point one by its fourth degree Taylor polynomial at c. Well, because the Taylor series is centered at zero and solves a Taylor polynomial, we could call this a Maclaurin series and a Maclaurin polynomial. So for a quick review, here's the definition of a Taylor polynomial and a Taylor series centered at C. The only difference here is a Taylor series is an infinite series and the Taylor polynomial has a finite number of terms. Notice the last term here has degree n. And then for a Maclaurin polynomial and a Maclaurin series, the only difference is both of these are centered at x equals zero. So going back to our question, if we did know the power series for cosine x given here, which is also centered at zero, we could simply find the Taylor series by subbing two x for x in this power series for cosine x. But we'll go ahead and apply this formula here to find the series and polynomial. Notice how the highest degree term is going to be degree four, so we'll have to find the first four derivatives of our function f of x. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So starting with f of x equals cosine two x, we'll find the first through the fourth derivatives. So the first derivative is the derivative of cosine two x, which would be negative sine two x times two, or negative two sine two x. And then the second derivative would be equal to negative two times the derivative of sine two x, which would be negative two cosine two x times two, or negative four cosine two x. And then the third derivative would be equal to negative four times the derivative of cosine two x. So we'd have negative four times negative sine two x times two, or eight sine two x. And then the fourth derivative would be equal to eight times the derivative of sine two x, which would be eight times cosine two x times two, or 16 cosine two x. And now because the series is centered at zero, we'll evaluate each of these functions at zero. So f of zero would be equal to cosine zero, which is one. f prime of zero, would be equal to negative two times sine zero, which is zero. F double prime of zero would be equal to negative four times cosine zero, that's negative four. F triple prime of zero would be equal to eight times sine zero or zero. And finally, the fourth derivative at zero is equal to 16 times cosine zero or 16. Now we can use this formula here to start finding terms in the Taylor series. Just remember the Taylor series would be an infinite series. This is the formula for the Taylor polynomial where we have a finite number of terms. So we can say cosine two x equals f of zero, which is one, and then we'd have plus f prime of zero times x, that would be zero times x, which of course is zero, plus f double prime of zero divided by two factorial times x squared. Well, let's write this as instead of plus, let's write minus. So we have minus four divided by two factorial times x squared. Then we have plus zero divided by three factorial times x cubed, which of course is zero. And then finally we have, and then finally we have plus 16 divided by four factorial x to the fourth, and so on. So again, the series is an infinite series, so this would be the Taylor series. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We would have cosine two x equals one minus four divided by two factorial, that's two, so we have two x squared. And then we have 16 divided by four factorial, which would be 16 divided by 24, which simplifies to two thirds. So we'd have plus two thirds x to the fourth, and so on for the series. So now we can find c sub zero through c sub four. C sub zero is the coefficient of the degree zero term, which would be positive one. C sub one will be zero because there's no degree one term. 
C sub two would be negative two. C sub three would be zero because there's no degree three term. And C sub four would be equal to positive two thirds. Now if we just take these first three terms and form a polynomial, that would be our Taylor polynomial. Or in this case, because it's centered at zero, we can also call it a McLaurin polynomial. So for the second part of the question, we're asked to find the exact error in approximating cosine 0 0.1 by its fourth degree Taylor polynomial at c equals zero. So the Taylor polynomial t sub four, which again can also be called a McLaurin polynomial, would be equal to the first three terms of our series. So we have one minus two x squared plus two thirds x to the fourth which gives us our degree four Taylor polynomial. And this will give us an approximation for cosine 0 0.1. So we can say the actual value of cosine 0 0.1 would be equal to the value of the Taylor polynomial, T sub four of 0 0.1 plus some error, which we call the R sub four of 0 0.1. So we want to find the exact error. We would solve this equation for r sub four of 0 0.1. So if we did that, we would have r sub four of 0 0.1 is equal to the exact value of cosine 0 0.1 minus, minus t sub four of 0 0.1. So let's find this difference using a graphing calculator. Let's begin by making sure the calculator is in radian mode. So we'll press the mode key. Notice how it is in radian mode. So we'll go back to the home screen and we'll enter a cosine 0 0.1 minus T sub four of 0 0.1, which would be the quantity one minus two times 0 0.1 squared plus two thirds times 0.1 raised to the fourth. So the error when using the Taylor polynomial to approximate cosine 0 0.1 would be approximately 0 0.0149. Let's take a look at this graphically as well. In blue we have the graph of f of x equals cosine two x and in red we have the graph of our McLuhan or Taylor polynomial centered at zero. Notice how around zero, the Taylor polynomial or McLuhan polynomial is a very good representation of the blue function f of x equals cosine two x. I hope you found this helpful.